Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be creating some awesome gamers gear through Zazzle. So, you guys know that there's a huge community of online gamers. Well, Zazzle is also a huge community. And with Zazzle, consumers get to create products that they also get to customize, which is pretty fun and pretty insane, actually. And there's not too many websites out there in the print-on-demand space that actually allows you to do this. So, in terms of competition, Zazzle definitely does have the upper hand, and the statistics and the analytics behind Zazzle prove that. So, today we're going to be creating some gear for gamers, and we're going to be using Placeit to help us do that. Placeit is a website that has literally millions and millions and millions of different images, mockups, different things, and different graphical resources that can help us in our Zazzle journey, I guess you could say, in our print-on-demand journey. Um, and it's not just Zazzle, we can use this for all different aspects, but today I'm going to be showing you how to create these, uh, you know, some gear for gamers. Uh, and I know that, you know, not everybody might like to create, let's say, designs for gamers, but the reality is, is I always ask myself, where is the money, right? And I know that something about gamers is that if you're on an MLG team or if you're on a gaming team or you want to create a gaming team with you and your friends, which is a lot of what the young guys are doing today because uh, gaming is so prevalent and so well known, they're going to need a logo. They're not going to need a mascot. They're going to need a team. They're going to need a lot of different details and a lot of different things for this. So what you can do as the seller is benefit off of that. See, before gamers, you know, a lot of gamers, they're not graphic designers. They're not, you know, they're they're not... Um, let's just say they're not, you know, they're not looking for quote unquote passive income. They usually think of making money on stream. They're making money, uh, you know, by streaming their games and, but they need logos. They, they need st stuff like that and they need gear for their stuff and they might even sell some of this gear as their merch. Well, what you could do is you could feed into that by creating designs for these gamers, leaving them on Zazzle to where they can end up customizing them and utilizing them. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about here. So here, for example, I saw a picture of this Viper. Um, and what we could do is, I believe this, is, or this is a Cobra or is a Viper? I don't know. We'll, we'll actually end up seeing. Let me see here, a picture of a Viper. This actually looks like the Shelby logo. Or the other one looks like the Shelby. Let's see. Is it Viper or... Okay, yeah. So, I'm, I'm assuming it's a Cobra. Let's go ahead and see the Cobra. Cobra Mustang, I believe. Is it called the Cobra Mustang? I believe this is what it looks like. So, the, the what I'm really looking for is the, the logo, right? So, that's Cobra. All right. So, this is a Cobra, I'm assuming. All right. So, let's go ahead and open up this Cobra logo. You can see here, this looks great. What we can do is we can alter the text here and we create a, a word behind this. So instead of the word ninja, let's go ahead and type in Cobra and let's go ahead and remove. Actually, I want to remove fighters group and we'll, we'll just label this the Cobras, right? So Cobras and for our color here, we have our main color. We have our background. Um, we have our, actually, we have our text color as well. Let me see, and guys, be very, very comfortable playing around with the colors and the designs. Um, when I'm thinking of, when I create a design for a t-shirt, I'm thinking, okay, let's say I want my t-shirt on Zazzle to be black, okay? Well, then in that case, I can't go with black text. I could go with a black, you know, surround, like a, you know, a, a overlay kind of thing. Not overlay, an accent, but... I can't go with a, a black kind of surround, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the background here as black for now, just to represent that black in terms of the t-shirt, right? And so let's go ahead and see how that color pops now. That's actually pretty cool. Now we have the main color. The main color, let's just see if we what happens when we change this. Will that change the color of the actual Cobra? Because if that's the case, I want to change the color. Okay, good. So it does. We are allowed to change the color. And I'm going to go with something like a green because that's what, you know, Cobras are. Uh, and, and you guys could feel free to, um, to go ahead and do this yourself. So I'm not really sure how this... Let's see what we could do here. Okay, there we go. That was my mistake. Um, so let's see what color green we get. We got this color. Let's see if we could go with something a little darker. 
and the more you go down here, and by the way, on Placeit, I'll leave the link in the description box down below if you want to go ahead and join Placeit. I am an affiliate. So you can see here Cobras, and then what we could do is we could actually change the color of the text if we really wanted to, right? So we could use the same green for the Cobras we could use for the text here. Let's see how that looks. And I really like this, this, uh, this spray paint on the background. Um, we could actually change it if we wanted to, like we could use different different styles and different setups like something like this I actually really like that and what I could do is I believe this is an accent so I could change the color of that accent so I could go with yellow for example right and let's see how that looks and you could see here now that looks pretty cool to me right so the same color of the cobra and in the inside is yellow same as the accent you could do this all with places so this is really really cool now in terms of the background, what I want to do is, there's a lot of things, well, here's the thing, there's a lot of things that I can do, right? When I export it, ideally, I don't necessarily want a black background per se, I might want to go with a white background, right? So, let's go ahead and hit download here, and it's actually going to download my work, and you can see here, I've done this a few times now, so I'm going to go ahead and download it, and let's just wait for it to download. Now, the cool thing about Placeit as well, is that when they... When you create designs on Placeit, you can access the designs that you've created a while ago. And you don't have to worry about deleting them to free up space or memory or anything like that. You just go over here, click on My Downloads, and you access all of them. Now, if you notice here, when I create this gaming logo, I have two versions, uh, you know, essentially downloaded. So I'm going to download both versions here. Um, and one is going to be, from what I believe, a transparent. And then one is going to have the color as the background, right? So let's go ahead and see what happens here. And I think it's going to be the first one, but let's just wait for them here. They are very graphically inclined, right? You could see here it's a great art. So let's give it a second. And remember, guys, here, the goal is to sell these designs on Zazzle for people to customize so that we can get some bulk orders. The cool thing about Zazzle is that you're allowed to have a lot of, well, it's not that you're allowed, but there's a lot of bulk orders that actually happen on the platform. So I'm going to head over here to Zazzle on this new account that I created. And by the way, I will have a video coming out very soon on uh, me creating a brand new account on Zazzle and showing you guys how that works. But let's head over here to Zazzle. Now, if you haven't already logged in, you haven't created an account, uh, and you want to wait for that video to come out, go ahead and wait. But if you want to just sit back and enjoy the content, uh, well, then let's go ahead and get started. So let's go over here and go to sell, and we can choose what products we want to sell. I'm going to go ahead and go with the t-shirt first, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and click add image, okay? And I'm going to get to upload these images that I just exported and that I just created from Place It, right? So this icon, this image, whatever you want to call it, I can upload it straight into my Zazzle account here. So I have two images uploading. So the, you could see here the second one is the transparent one. This is not transparent, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the non-transparent one. And I'm going to add this one here on the bottom, okay? And what happens is, is, is when you're a gamer, uh, if you guys are familiar, there are all different kinds of gaming shirts, gaming jerseys, gaming gear. It doesn't really, there's no rule or there's no law as to how to set this up. And the cool thing about MLG and all these kind of communities is that they don't have certain requirements as to how the design is supposed to be created, right? It's not like the name of the person is supposed to be the first name or the last name or it could be a nickname. It could be anything, right? As if, you know... As opposed to the NBA or the or the UFC or things like that, they have a specific uniform that you do have to wear. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and drag this right about here, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a name here, like a, a customizable name. And by the way, I know this looks off-center, but what I'm really doing is I'm looking at this image here, okay? I'm looking at the preview in the bottom on Zazzle so I can see how my image fits. It's all about how my image fits with the with the accents in the background as opposed to um, the uh, what what it's showing here on the on the designer. Okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my text here. And this text element is the element that's going to be customizable. So let's say for the element name I might go with uh, let's say Jason, right? So let's say that's the name that we want to add. And so let's say we add this here, okay? And what I want to do is I want to match the color. So I'm going to head over back back to place it, and I'm going to just see what color code that color is. So if I go back to here to custom, this is the color. Let's go ahead and just copy this, 
and let's head back to Zazzle and let's actually work on the color button here so I'm gonna delete this color code button for white and I'm gonna add that and that's going to be what did I do here okay there we go by mistake I clicked outside of it but um, I'm going to just go ahead and upload the color code here okay and so you can see here now it's green the same color as the Cobra And what I could do is I can increase this right and I leave this to the side and then what I want to do is just shorten the text view okay so because I want to I want to have this all fit perfectly okay and I'm gonna leave it to the left side a little bit and what I might do is I might add like a number right because I know that jerseys some guys have numbers on their on their t-shirts so let's say I might go over here hit add text and I might add number one for example right and I might do this right here and it doesn't have to, you know, be like a crazy good fit, but uh, we could always play around with how it works. You know, if I want this to be like right here, for example, I can do that and move this downward. So that I actually like the way that looks better. So let me just increase the size of the name here and move this downward. Okay. And so now I have two customizable elements for this MLG gaming jersey, right? Or gaming t-shirt. I have the name of the person and I have the number of the person. And I'm just going to go ahead and click done here, right? And now I get to preview how it looks. So I have this name, Jason. I have the number and I have the logo. Now, the cool thing about this is whoever gets to sell this or excuse me, whoever gets to buy this, they get to customize this. They get to see this on other products as well, right? So, for example, let's just see how this looks on a shirt like this, right? Or a shirt like this or a shirt like this for example and we get to see how this looks now we can edit the design we could do a whole bunch of different things but when I go to publish this design right and I actually don't want it to be this small so I'm gonna head back into the editing here I'm not exactly sure what happened oh this is for the uh, right hand corner so let's go ahead and click done here depending on what uh, I just realized this depending on what design usually I only create for one but depending on what design that actually ends up or what product excuse me ends up being created um, it will basically view the product a little bit differently so here let's go with this I actually like the way this looks and so let's go ahead and click sell it okay so when we sell this product you have things like your title your your uh, marketplace all these other things but you want to go down here and you want to make sure that this is enabled this customize it button now if you have a design that's not customizable you don't have to enable it right um, it's up to you, but really what Zazzle is as a platform is they create products or they allow products on their platform that are allowed to be customized. So we just created a gaming shirt, right? And that gaming shirt can be customized in terms of the name, the number, etc. Now, when you publish a shirt, I don't want you to freak out because it takes roughly 24 hours for somebody to approve your work on Zazzle. So it's not going to appear right away. It's not like it's, you know, five hours or whatever or two hours, um, but... <clears throat> and um, uh, you see here there's actually a notice it says since this is a new product you have 24 hours to finalize your royalty percentage etc um, it's essentially before it's published right you have you have the chance to do all this um, and all the changes go into effect once a month so Zazzle does have different rules behind you know royalties and setting up pricing and things like that so for example with the royalties um, it's not as easy or as straightforward as, for example, Redbubble. You know, with Redbubble, I can go in, I can change the royalty for each product if I wanted to. That's not the case with Zazzle. Um, now, I'm not sure why that is, but that's perfectly fine. You would have to be able to set a certain customization number here. Now, since this is highly customizable and it's for a specific purpose, I feel comfortable charging more for this. So I might go with, let's say, 12% profit for this, right? Or even, let's say, 15% profit. And I could just really just gauge the pricing here. And I could see what other people are doing as well. So if I go into Zazzle, let's go ahead and go into Zazzle. And let's go into Zazzle.com. And if I just search for gaming shirt, I'm just interested here in what kind of other kind of shirts that we have. And I don't I don't think anybody's really took our idea in terms of like doing an MLG style uh, like a gaming jersey or gaming shirt, but you could tell here nobody's really done that and the prices are basic 1950 1950 but the products that we're selling at is I want to actually charge more for this so that when there's when people buy it in bulk because they will buy it in bulk if they're part of a team right and they want this specific logo and it's easy to create 
they're going to buy it in bulk. So what's going to happen is is that the the uh, the price of that product is going to get cut. And I'll just show you guys what I'm talking about. If I select this di design here, I can go over here to quantity and I could choose how many I want to buy. So if it's a team of, let's say, 11 people, you know, it could be a smaller amount or 20 people or whatever it is. And you could do this for sports. You could do this for gaming. You could do this for whatever it is. So, um, and by the way, uh, I have seen over time that Zazzle does change how they discount things in bulk. Just yesterday on a certain product, I believe it was the, was it the keychains? I'm not sure. I was designing the keychains. But um, they had uh, sales for anything over uh, 20 so it just differs how, how things are set up here. Um, and they had a huge sale for if you order 100 or more or something like that. It was over 50%. So just just be aware about this and, and you know, kind of be aware. But regardless, for the design here, where is it? Um, here it is. You could set your own uh, royalty. Now, in terms of tagging, I won't be going over that here because I do have a specific tagging course, as you guys probably already know if you saw yesterday's video. Um the tagging course is just how to properly tag on Zazzle. There's really no surprises, no gimmicks, no nothing crazy about that. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the Redbubble tagging course or the POD design course, and you already joined these courses, uh, message me if you want to get access to the Zazzle tagging course. I'll send you a discount. Uh, a coupon code if that's something you're interested in uh, and it's something you actually want to join so this is for specifically for people who had joined the POD design course or the red bubble tagging course and you're interested in joining the Zazzle tagging course the coupon code that I'll give to previous customers um, that coupon code will apply for the Zazzle course specifically it won't apply for any other product all right so if that's something you need help with, just let me know, and I'll I'll leave uh, this link in the description box down below. Uh, but place it, I'll leave in the comments down below for you guys to go ahead and check out uh, and go ahead and utilize for this system. And you could use this, you know, place it is so cool because they have millions of different templates and, you know, images and things like that. And I could actually take my design. Let's actually go ahead and do this. I could take my design. I could put it on a shirt like this for example, and I could promote this to Instagram. I could promote this to Pinterest. I could utilize content like this that not that many people have to go ahead and sell. I could write an article about, you know, here's how to create your own uh, MLG gaming shirt or whatever, and I could show all of the links to all my different products, and people can go click on them and buy them, and I can use this image for marketing purposes so let's just go over here let's go upload from a device let's go to our downloads um our downloads rather and let's click on let's just say for example this logo i actually like this i should have actually picked the transparent one but it is what it is and let's go with the background of black and see you can see here how it fits and i could actually move this up just so people can see how it looks in terms of the the marketing so i could click resize here and let me go ahead and click resize. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let me go ahead and refresh this. <clears throat> I'll refresh it, but... Upload from device. Yeah, let's pick the transparent one. So the transparent one is good enough. And you can see here, I'll just drag this to the top slightly, just so it's a little more visible. Right? And so there we go. So that's the icon. And I could switch this top here to green. So that's a good gaming shirt, if you ask me. And so I could link a product like this to those products that I'm selling on Zazzle as soon as they get uh, approved. So wherever it is here, I think this is, yep, this is the one. And by the way, when you're creating your designs, you could click all options here. By the way, you don't want to select a certain option. If I were you, I would just sell my products on literally every single thing that is available to me. Um, and, and that's essentially what I would do. But you guys let me know what you guys think. If you like Zazzle, if you're going to hop on Zazzle. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.